Hello ladies and gents, our favourite Cape Crusader Ruby Rose has dropped some earth-shattering bombs, basically, about CW, Berlanti, Caroline Dreis, all these individuals that are so inclusive and so diverse and, and you know, everyone loves them and they're just so focused on making the best show ever and getting such inclusivity behind it. Uh, it's very, very funny, the truth always comes out, and it even did for Kerry uh, Fukunaga, the guy who directed the latest James Bond, Virtue signaling out the wazoo, going, oh, Sean Connery's basically a rapist, and then he gets me too'd. It's like, come on. You scream loud enough, you're going to get me too'd, because there's something going on. But anyway, Ruby Rose has come out and said all this, so I thought we'd just go through it, because it's, it's fascinating stuff. Dear CW, Caroline Dreis, Sarah Witty, uh, G. Belanti et al., enough is enough. I'm going to tell the whole world what really happened on that set. Also, just as an FYI, this is the worst font to read ever. Ruby Rose... You absolutely suck ass for doing it in this font. I hate you so much. Just for that. Peter Rath, you are first up. You are chapter one. Not sure if you left after getting promoted to the highest position because you just couldn't stop making young women steam your pants around your something while you are still weaving said pants on... As if you left after putting a private investigator on me, who you fired as soon as the report didn't fit your narrative. Either way, when it comes to you, there's already an army waiting for you. Someone hired a private investigator on Ruby Rose? What? What is this fucking nonsense coming out of the CW? Cut to three weeks later... After this video, it's worse than... Oh, that's not right. Maybe it is right. Oh, well, we're just going to keep going through it. Never mind. Um, so she's talking about a back uh, as abnormal. This was diagnosed years ago on set. But if I got an x-ray, we would have made something day. I've documented this for years. On top of that, I have enough documentation to make a one-hour documentary... Pray tell what else would you like me to share? That broken neck on the broken rib split in two and the tumour. It's just, it is all over the place, this whole stuff. Look, here we go. To everyone who said I was stiff on Batwoman, imagine going back to work 10 days after this. 10 days on the whole crew and cast would be fired and I'd let everyone down because Peter Rath said he would recast and I just lost the studio millions by getting injured on his set. That is, be the one who casts so many people their jobs instead of, or be the one that costs so many people their jobs instead of spending half a day to rewrite me out for a few weeks to heal. I mean, that's a fair point, to be fair. That is absolutely a fair point. Um, there's just so much of this, but just as an FYI. Uh, here's another one. Imagine taking a huge pay cut to play a passion project and being so excited about Comic Con and then being told they would not adjust the schedule so I could attend but then saying we won't announce it, you have to and me putting my foot down and saying why must I be the face of this only to be told if I didn't do this video they would be silent and people would turn up to find out on the day that I wasn't there. I folded, I wanted to do what it took but then being told cover your scar we don't want to see that scar on the video and you wonder why I posted my surgery video. It's mental. Some of this stuff's crazy accusations. Uh, anyway, so here's like some long stuff, right? So in closing, please to my dear, dear fans, stop asking if I return to that awful show. I wouldn't return for any amount of money nor if a gun were to my head, nor did I quit. I do not quit. I said that, I said that she didn't quit because she wouldn't be able to because she was signed in for multi-seasons. They ruined Kate Kane. And they destroyed Batwoman, not me. I followed orders. And if I wanted to stay, I was going to have to sign my rights away. Any threats, any bullying tactics or blackmail will not make me stand down. A crew member got third degree burns over his whole body. And we were given no therapy after witnessing his skin fall off his face. But I was the only one who sent him flowers and cards. And then were told we had to do a sex scene without a minute to process. We lost two stunt doubles. I got cut in the face so close to my eye in a stunt I would have been blind. A woman was left quadriplegic. I reported on that. That was, that was awful. Uh, and they tried to blame it on her being on a phone. So much so CW didn't even help her to start with because they needed to investigate. 
So she had to go and do a GoFundMe. Again, I did a report on that. She's a PA. They work via phones. Her accident occurred because our show refused to shut down when everyone else did because of COVID. Caroline Dreis has no heart. This is the one that's so like all, all virtue signaling preachy, Caroline Dreis. Caroline Dreis has no heart. I wanted us to finish the season throughout the pandemic. And I told her it was a bad idea. I told her everyone was too distracted, constantly checking COVID updates, checking on friends and seeing Riverdale. Uh, the Flash and Supergirl shut down already. I felt something bad would happen and Caroline Dreis maybe visited the set four times in a year. Unheard of. But in those four or five visits, she decided she could tell me she knew my injury happened on set so I should comply with the private investigator yet later denied it entirely and said it happened during yoga. I don't do yoga. <laughs> what is this? And now someone will never walk again. We shut down the next day, not because she almost killed someone, but the government pulled it. Also, I fought people on set, yes, not because I wanted to, but because I wanted safety. Ask anyone in hair and makeup what I did for them after two were hospitalised. The only people who came out and spoke was Du Gray, who, talk about unprofessional, called my agent after my exit to find a way to leave, to which she replied, break your neck, I guess. Yet slammed me in the press. What? So he called, what? He called, Du Gray Scott called Ruby Rose's agent, let me get this straight, called Ruby Rose's agent and said, how can I leave? And, and the agent said, break your neck, I guess. Holy fuck, what is this? This is such, this is mental. Uh, I never raised my voice on a set, never have. Du Gray hurt a female stunt double. He yelled like a little bitch at women. It was a nightmare. He left when he wanted and arrived when he wanted. He abused women and in turn, as a lead of a show, I sent an email out asking for a no yelling policy. They declined. I was late one time because I was in hospital. Whoever does these stupid leaks, I'm finding out who. But it's Camrus who, after I left hospital, said, yeah, well, maybe if people were not late, we would make our days. A kid, an egomaniac kid who worked one day a week, had the audacity, or the stunt department who were furious, even though I never blamed them, but I went on Fallen and spoke of my injury, or Fallon, I guess, Fallen, I don't know, uh, and didn't play the game. Aside from them, I was loved and loved my crew, oh, and they wouldn't drive me to work and knew I couldn't legally drive after surgery, so they said, get a taxi. Ladies and gents, this is, oh my lord, I'm looking awfully white because of the, uh... there we go, fixed it. Um, I am absolutely astounded. I can't quite believe it. Can you? I can't. I'm, I'm super shocked by all... Well, I'm not really shocked. Obviously, they, they just said, see you later, mate. Be gone. Um, and then she had to leave. It's, it is pretty mental, quite frankly. This is pretty mental stuff. Uh, wow. Dugray is apparently a little bitch. <laughs> I mean, she's never going to work again, is she? Like, Jesus. I mean, she will, probably. I just... I've been saying for weeks, DC just needs to take all their shows away from the CW because they're crap anyway. I've been saying it for years, actually. They're just shit. Just take them away from the CW. Oh, my God. Wow. I wonder what the rest of the crew is going to say in response to this. Let me know what you guys think down below. I can't wait to hear what you think of this. This is mental stuff. So drop your thoughts down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Papa H. Kiss. Take care.